my name is Tamara Chambers, and this is Tamara's Never Seen. And today I'm watching Gremlins 2. I'm dressed up as the female gremlin. It's a little, it's a little distracting. Pew, pew, pew. I really enjoyed the first Gremlins in a way that was like, it had cool practicals. It was fun enough. I love it as a Christmas film. I can't believe that there was a second one made. That's so weird to me. And I've heard that the director didn't want it made and didn't want to make it, but everyone was like, we'll just give you any amount of money you want because it was such a giant success and just make whatever. And so he did, apparently, is what I've heard. And I'm pretty excited about it because that sounds, to me, that sounds like it's going to be a ridiculous mess, which, same. Me too. This is for Black Nerd. <laughs> this is for you, Andre. Here we go. What was that? What? What was that? I'm sorry. What was that? What? <laughs> Oh, so many, I have so many, so many things to talk about. I'm so excited. That was such a weird. Uh, it, was, it was so weird. It was, what's going on? Hulk Hogan, what are you doing here, buddy? That was funnier. It was more fun. Crazy budget. It was, I loved it. I liked this a lot more than I liked the first. And I enjoyed the first, but. Oh, buddy. So we get a little backstory with Mr. Wing's shop and some big business tycoon is trying to buy his shop so it can go in a giant mall. And he doesn't want to sell it, but it's mostly just a way for you to see what's been going on and see Gizmo. And Gizmo's watching Rambo, which is adorable. Adds that to list of my movies that I still need to watch, okay. But then Mr. Wing dies and the mall construction is started. That was short-lived. <laughs> so you see the Billy and Kate from the first movie have moved to New York and are struggling to make it by. Oh, young love brought together by terrorizing small little mystical creatures. Tale is old as time. Billy has a job as an architect, pretty much like designing the building for the new mall and Kate is a tour guide. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me, but it's hilarious. I also just really love the little hats that the tour guides wear. I want one. Then you're introduced to the scientists who took Gizmo. So this guy, Mr. Clamp, wants to make a mall. He already has a giant business center, and in the business center is where the scientists have their office. You meet the, the head scientist, played by Christopher Lee, and it's so funny. He's great. He's such a good character in this, and I want to say he's my favorite, but there's, some, there's a couple really great characters in this movie. Oh, is this my malaria? Oh, it's rabies. I have rabies. So I love Christopher Lee. I love all of the scientists. I, however, do not like Billy's boss. I hate her accent. I hate the character. I don't, <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like her at all. No. She flirts a lot with Billy and it gets him in trouble later with Kate. And that's, it's a lot. She's a lot. That's workplace harassment. Billy, you go. You run for the hills, Billy. But she invites him to dinner to further their careers and he says yes to further his career, not to flirt. Billy is not like that. He does not play those games. And he leaves Gizmo, who he rescued from the science offices earlier. A lot has already happened. He leaves Gizmo in his office for Kate to pick up later. But of course, we all know what's gonna happen. Gizmo gets wet in the office and creates the new batch, Gremlins 2. The new batch. The new batch, I will say, the, the new puppets that they use in this are very animated. More so, and more distinct characters than the last ones, the last batch, the old batch. So while at dinner, <laughs> the redheaded boss kisses Billy on the side of the mouth and then like claws his penis with her foot, which is an aggressive move, that's a power move. But he's not having any of it. He goes home, he doesn't wipe the lipstick off and Kate sees it and she doesn't say anything. She's like, well, we have problems right now, I'll deal with it later, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how I would have handled that. I would have been like, okay, cool. Well, your apartment's a mess because I accidentally didn't take Gizmo home. I took one of the new batch. So good luck with that. I'm gonna take your credit card and go to Greece. Where do I wanna go? Egypt. So they go 
back to find Gizmo, and it's a mess. Everything after this is just, it's just like an hour of chaos. Billy is just like, he's also just, he's such a mess. He goes to jail real quick. He's not the best hero, but he's also the worst hero. <laughs> so the cocoon things from the first, of course, are in this, in the new batch hatch. That's really fun to say. That's as fun as you think it is to say, the new batch hatch. Something that I really loved about this film is there's a lot of random comedy over the loudspeakers of the building that I really, really, really love. The loudspeaker goes on for one line and says, will the owner of the car with the license plate G67Z12 please remove your vehicle from the clamp parking lot? It's old and ugly. There's one point where everything's going wrong and people are trying to get out of the building and it's just like chaos and a mess. And the loudspeaker goes on and goes, we are now experiencing technical difficulties. Please try not to notice. <laughs> I love that. Another character that I loved, I thought that they were gonna portray him as like a really bad guy because he wanted to buy Mr. Wing's shop and he eventually just took it over, it was Mr. Clamp. He was like kind of at the beginning portrayed as this big bad business guy who doesn't care about anything. But I loved him, he was a great character. He shreds one of the gremlins in a shredder. <laughs> it's great, at the end he gives everyone great jobs. He's always just like so excited and happy. I love Mr. Clamp. Then you get the sketch with the movie police and the movie police is, is reviewing the first gremlins. It also just screams a sketch that somebody who didn't want to make this one who was just like, yeah, that last one was shit and I loved it, I had a blast with it, that's kind of all I want to do. Uh, I'm gonna do this new one, fine. Let's write this sketch in. Like, it felt like that and I loved it. I wrote, oh my God, why is Hulk Hogan here? Oh my God, amazing. WTF, why? Yes, good. <laughs> Work a camera, I am a camera. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> then the female gremlin comes in and wow, okay. Again, follow me on Instagram. I, I just wrote, they play some Slayer and they show the gremlins mutating even worse, which I really loved the creativity with that, that the spider gremlin is really cool. Like somebody cosplay that spy, spider gremlin right now. So please, Ike, please. And then you get Rambo Gizmo, which I love. I love this scene, it's adorable. I'm all about his little murder spree, this little fluff. Okay, wait, <laughs> what the? Fuck was that Lincoln moment with the case? I didn't understand that in the least bit. She's like, I don't like Lincoln because this one time in a park there was this old man and it was weird. What was that about? And everyone was like, don't, not right now, Kate. <laughs> it's like, maybe she needs to talk about this. So they have a whole plan to take down the gremlins. It doesn't work, so they electrocute the gremlins with one of the gremlins. <laughs> Somehow, that's where we've gotten to. I'm melting, melting, what a world, what a world. I wrote, I love the boss, I love the resolve, and even the female gremlin finds happiness. Masterpiece, bravo, wow. It was fun, it was really fun. I really enjoyed watching this. I would put this on with friends, like drinking with buds. Like I would, I would put it on again. You'll appreciate how skilled the gremlins are at arranging a musical show with props and costumes. I was, and I loved the musical number. Hey Tamara, what else do you want out of a gremlins film? You saw the first, what, what else, what do you want in there? I don't know, maybe like a really fantastic musical number? Don't you worry, we got you back. You're going to want to do a cosplay of the female gremlin. <laughs> Is it cosplay? That's how I look all the time. <laughs> you won't hate it, and that is all I can predict at the moment. Safe, I like that. <laughs> Though you'll be sad that it's not as scary, by God, you will still love it, because it's way funnier. I love scary movies. I didn't find the first one scary at all. It was just like a mildly, like on the verge of being scary without that much comedy. This one was like, still mildly not scary, but like, so funny that I found it a lot more enjoyable. You will believe that it is one of the few sequels that greatly suppresses the original. Yes, I had such a good time with this one. <laughs> I always love a great Tamara's Never Seen episode where I could dress up too. <laughs> so I saw the female gremlin and I was like, oh hell yeah, it is on. Thank you so much for watching. I had a blast with this one. See you guys soon. Bye. I have so much makeup on. Oh God.